Okay, this question is one of the hardest on this GRE, new GRE test verbal wise. However, it doesn't have to be hard at all if you pay attention to my blog and look at my favorite GRE word. That is words that the GRE loves to use over and over again. And disinterested has got to be top 10, if not top 5. That is about the years that GRE has loved to put this word into sentence completions because they know people will think disinterested means uninterested. It does not. It means impartial, unbiased. So think of a judge who's disinterested, or ideally the judge should be disinterested. That is unbiased, not favor one party over the other. So we look at these words. We know well, we want a word meaning passive, opposite of active. And you think, well, passive, you're uninterested. Sure, that would work. But passive does not mean impartial or unbiased. If you're unbiased again, you're, not, you're intentionally saying, I am going to remain neutral. I'm going to hold my emotions back and not become involved at an emotional level. That has nothing to do with uninterested. Uninterested means you don't care. And that could, again, work with passive. However, unbiased and passive, those two words are not similar. They would change the meaning. I mean, we could even put it back here. This position regards Renaissance princes disinterested representations of their time. Suddenly they've become unbiased representations of their time. Is that what we were, were we ever talking about bias here? No, we're just saying passive. It's not causing any effect on the environment. So A is clearly the answer because we're saying least changing the meaning. B, submissive, passive, something submissive. It's not really affecting the environment or having a change over the environment. So. That more or less works. Flaccid, again, this idea you're weak, your muscles have all gone the waist, literally, figuratively, you're flaccid, you're passive, submissive, not having much of an effect on the environment. Supine means lying down, but it can also mean figuratively lying down. You're not vigilant, you're not paying attention, you're just kind of submissive, so that doesn't work either. And finally, unreceptive, something's passive, it just doesn't, it's clearly unreceptive, it doesn't really receive, it's just this thing that doesn't have an effect on its environment and doesn't change itself. So E works. So we get rid of all of these again, which one doesn't change. And I think most people now that I've you know, gone through every answer choice, they would have gotten this right had I defined disinterested. And that's why it's so important to know your GRE vocab.